Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a makeup tutorial. I did some really cool makeup the other day and I had a few people request to do a tutorial so I'm going to try to do it today. I actually already tried to film this the other day but it didn't turn out how I wanted and I've done it a few times since so I think I've got it down now but sometimes I swear to god when I film the makeup gods just aren't with me, so hopefully it'll go good, but the makeup look that I'm going to do, I will put a picture of it. I posted it on my Instagram story a few days ago. I thought it looked really cool. It was a random look that I came up with that was actually inspired by this shirt, kind of like the daggers, the blades on it. Uh, also, I did change my hair again. It is very interesting right now. I also have hair extensions in, so... All of this like purple and kind of like blue kind of sticking through is hair extensions. I didn't film what I did because it was a random like one in the morning decision. I had this big bowl that I bought from Walmart. It was only like two dollars and I mixed in some Arctic Fox Transylvania and some random purple. I think it was like a Killstar purple and then I mixed in a little bit of red and then I just poured a bunch of water in it so it was like a hair dye water thing and then I just dipped my head into the bowl of water and it kind of just like I don't know made it like a dark blue purple color we're gonna be using this matrix palette that I have but it really doesn't matter any like blueish green color we're gonna be going into this one right here this palette doesn't have a mirror on it so I will be holding another palette that does have a mirror on it but yeah while I'm doing my makeup I'll just kind of be talking about some stuff uh, what I'm up to, what's going on in my life recently. I feel like there's a lot of exciting things kind of happening right now in my life. So thing number one that I guess is going to be the soonest thing to happen is that Gothic Beauty Box reached out to me again and they're going to be sending me another Gothic Beauty Box to unbox with you guys and we're also going to be doing another giveaway which I am so excited about. I did that with the last gothic beauty box unboxing um i think that the package should be showing up to my p.o box today or tomorrow so i'll probably go get that today or tomorrow and film the video this week so that'll probably be up in a few days so i'm really excited i love gothic beauty box so much here is the makeup so far basically just kind of very vibrant i'm just using this brush the next thing that's kind of exciting is that in about a month i think it's like on august 26 through 27 the new world of warcraft expansion the war within is coming out so that's just kind of very exciting i think the pre-patch is starting like tomorrow like tuesday uh where they're gonna be releasing some of the new features for me as someone who plays wow and makes content about wow on my other channel which is lady survival wow it's just a really exciting time you know and also in line with the war within is that very soon probably any day now i'm going to be receiving my collector's edition box of the war within and this time it comes with like a statue i'm going to be getting that any day now and i'm really excited because i can do an unboxing so already that's like two videos where i'll be kind of doing like unboxings on my channel, the Gothic Beauty Box, and then the War Within. I am just so excited and it's actually hilarious because I have like no more room on my WoW shelf. Like I need to get another shelf or I'm debating getting a new computer desk that has like a shelf, you know, like those desks that have shelves on the top so that I can move some stuff off my shelf and put it above my computer desk. I don't know. I have no more room on my shelf. All right. So yeah, there is the eyeshadow so far. I absolutely love this color. The next step, we're going to be going just into this black color and starting to do kind of like a V-shaped black thing going on on the bottom and on the top. Literally love this brush. I use it like every time. It's like kind of angled up a little bit more but it's so perfect because I can make like V shapes sort of. Anyways also in World of Warcraft news and unboxing World of Warcraft things a few weeks ago I had had a brand called Hex Collectibles reach out to me and they make like statues and action figures and I actually saw just like a week before they emailed me there's like this new lich king statue like hearthstone world of warcraft lich king statue and i saw it on instagram and i was like oh my god i want it so bad but 
you know, expensive and like life and bills and I'm like, oh, I don't know if I can buy it, but I really, really wanted it. And then I randomly got an email from them and they were like, we want to send you the Lich King statue to do an unboxing. And I was like screaming, crying, throwing up. Like I've never had a World of Warcraft thing sent to me. Like I've been kind of doing the influencer thing for a while, but you know, I usually just get like clothing, like from Hot Topic and like Vampire Freaks and that's super cool. But to actually have someone send me a World of Warcraft thing, I was like, what? And between that and the War Within Collector's Edition box, that's like two World of Warcraft things that I'm getting. I'm freaking stoked. A uh, quick little makeup update. Here's where we're at, just kind of like a V shape. It's not that perfect, but once we put the eyeliner on, it'll look better and also speaking of vampire freaks i also got an email from vampire freaks saying that they wanted me to become like kind of an official model for them which is insane and they're going to be sending me more stuff and i again literally love vampire freaks i am just so i don't know how i'm at this stage where like things are kind of working like a lot of my dreams are like coming true so i've been actually emailing with the actual owner of vampire freaks and he wants to send me a bunch of clothes so I can make a bunch of like reels and posts about their stuff. I don't know. It's just so exciting. It's so insane right now. I have so many like brand collab things happening right now. I just feel so blessed because I really, it was last year that I kind of started really taking Instagram seriously and even kind of my YouTube stuff more seriously. And it's been, you know, like I feel like I've really manifested a lot of the things that I've been dying to have for so long and I just, I'm like shaking every day. I'm like, how, how is this my life? I don't know. I have so much anxiety, but I'm trying so hard and every day, I, like I'm so busy every day. I'm constantly working on content stuff between my two YouTube channels and my Instagram and stuff. And like sometimes, yeah, I kind of like fall off, you know, posting regularly, but I'm pretty much constantly working on my stuff in some way or another like I don't take any breaks like ever. So cool to still be doing YouTube since like 2012 and I've never really ever given up on it or anything so I'm just really really proud of myself. It's amazing. And I'm just telling you guys one because it's exciting but two because if you want to do anything like this like the influencer stuff or whatever like you can do it. It's just about doing it you know like if you think about it all of my life up to this point I've never really taken it seriously and then all of a sudden the last year or so I've taken it seriously and it started working so it's just kind of a matter of how much action are you truly taking towards it you know like this didn't happen out of nowhere like it was very planned and I've been working on it and everything so this is pretty much the base we got the mint and the black and now we're gonna move into the eyeliner and stuff you guys already know I will be using my favorite essence 24 ever ink liner I actually just ordered some stuff from Ulta and got two more of these because the other ones that I had were drying out so they are fresh I love it we're just gonna go ahead and do my normal eyeliner just kind of extend it out and then I just kind of drag it back and kind of close my eye at the same time and just kind of bring that down here dry this off because the one thing I hate is when you like blink slash close your eye and it like goes up top and then I just kind of do my little corner thing All right, same thing on the other eye, extend out, start with that, and then I just pull it back. Oh my god, I got like a little dot right there, what the hell? Okay. Since I got like a little tiny dot, I'm just going to kind of try to blend it in with some black eyeshadow because I don't care. We are going to go ahead and put on my purple lipstick because I just hate seeing my lips without my purple lipstick and we're entering into the part of doing like the graphic eyeliner and I just want my lipstick on for it. It's literally the purple lipstick is such a signature lady survival move every time I put it on I'm like there she is. <laughs> Also just going to put a little bit of this other color, which is called Snuggle Sesh. I'm just going to put a little bit on in the middle, kind of make it more pinky. 
already almost kind of like a completed look, but we are gonna do some more fun stuff. So we're gonna be using this purple felt tip eyeliner thing, which I feel like felt tip is not really the best thing for graphic eyeliner. And it's funny, the other day when I tried to originally film this tutorial, it was like kind of drying out on me and it made it really hard, but it seems like it's kind of regained some of its like wetness. So I hope that it works okay today. So there's kind of a few things that are going to be going on. The first one, I'm going to kind of put a line here, kind of like running parallel to slash underneath. Uh, that's the same thing. I don't even know what I'm saying. Basically just like a purple line kind of on the bottom. I don't even really care about the lines being like sharp or good or anything. It's literally whatever. And then I also put one kind of on top here. This one's kind of hard to do, like kind of hard to make it look good. But again, I literally don't care. Pretty much the idea is there, and if you're better at doing makeup than me, you could probably do this even better than me. And then I also put a line kind of like here. I don't know, just kind of like pops of purple. You could maybe like connect these two and just have like a full thing, but I'm not going to because that's not how I did it. And then also I put some purple right here, kind of like above the little um, inner corner thing. And then for the actual like things, I kind of just like let it do the work. Like I kind of just place it and then like pull it back kind of. So we're going to start the first one right here. Oops. Kind of like that. And then we're just going to do another one kind of like under it like that. And then one more, um, this one kind of down more, like not so sideways, but more like sort of down ish, kind of like that. Uh, then I'm just going to kind of, I don't know, I guess sort of thicken them up a little. This one's kind of freestyle, but I'm just going to kind of put one this way too. Kind of like that. So yeah, that's that's pretty much roughly what I did. I feel like it didn't turn out that good today, but it is what it is. And I feel like by the time we have the other eye kind of doing its thing and like our mascara on, it just kind of becomes a thing. I don't know. I sort of put our first line over here and then our one kind of, this one's so hard to do. It's just such a, I don't know. It's like a not flat, easy area to do, but whatever. And then just kind of here on top. We're basically just kind of like highlighting slash outlining some things in purple because it's cool. All right. And then for this bottom, again, pull it back. They, they are definitely not perfect. I feel like this one is down like further and this one's kind of like closer to it, but it's okay. And then... And then one more. Whoops. Then our new little line that I just felt like adding. Just kind of pull it back here. That is pretty much it. It's not, I don't know, I feel like the lines aren't like that sharp or that cool, but I don't know. I just, I just dig it. There's just something about it where even though it's kind of messy, and kind of weird. I don't know. It's just a vibe. It's some kind of a vibe. Next thing is going to be our mascara, also by Essence. My favorites for eyeliner and mascara. They're so cheap. They're like $3. I will never stop raving about them. I don't know why anyone pays more than like 3 or $4 for their eyeliner and mascara. Like these exist and they're the bomb. Just kind of putting this on. Not too exciting. We'll probably maybe fast forward or maybe I'll kind of tell you guys a few more other things. There's just like random things that I have to uh, get you guys filled in on, I guess. Uh, for example, this weekend on Saturday, 
July 20th was my husband and I's three year wedding anniversary and we've been together for over five years and married for three so that was really cool. We went out to a diner to get some like brunch and we got like pancakes and eggs and bacon and sausage and oh my god it was so good. That was really fun that's all that we did and then we just kind of hung out for the weekend. We played some WoW together, watched some movies on Netflix, we made carrot cake last night and had tea together and it was just such a fun relaxing weekend just kind of chilling at home. We went on a walk on Saturday and on Sunday just kind of like around our neighborhood for like an hour or so. We love to go on walks and then just kind of did some chores around the house. It was really nice. I've been watching Supernatural and I've never watched Supernatural before. I know it's like kind of old. I'm sort of like late to the bandwagon and I started watching it maybe like a month ago and I love it so much. I'm already, I think I'm on season three now. It's, oh my god, it's so good. At first it was like scary to me because I'm not good with like scary movies, horror type stuff. I feel like only like some of the episodes are like really scary, but most of them aren't too bad. So I guess I've kind of gotten used to it. The first few nights and few episodes I watched, I like was having sort of like nightmares, not like super bad, but like I don't watch anything like that, so I'm not used to having scary dreams, so I was like, shit, I don't know if I can handle watching it, but I think I've kind of adapted to it, and now I'm just kind of like invested in the story, and I'm like, I need to know. All I can say is I love Sam. I mean, I love them both, but Sam is my favorite. He is so freaking cute. I love him. I think that we are pretty much done. I'm just going to kind of touch up my eyeshadow, go back into the black. And just kind of re-intensify it. That's always a thing that I do with my makeup is kind of like everywhere where I put eyeshadow I go back in with that eyeshadow again and just kind of re-strengthen it so that it's really like there. And back in with that minty color. Really make it pop. Right, and I think that we are now officially done. What do you guys think? I feel like it's pretty cool. You could do it so much better if you had an actual like liquid colorful eyeliner, but for the felt tip, I feel like it's pretty cool. I just, I don't know, something about, you guys know I love green and purple. Those are like my favorite colors, but the minty color just really, I don't know, it makes it very like cool toned and it's just, oh my gosh, I love it so much. I think it's amazing. I also, I really like this line that I added. I didn't do that last time. I feel like you could almost add like another one or maybe one like, I don't know, you could just keep adding lines. I feel like it's really, really cool. And the coolest thing is that you can do this with multiple colors. Like I could do this, kind of go for like a vampire look and have like the red eyeliner or like a blue look and kind of go for like an icy kind of like Lich King sort of vibe. Oh my god, I think it's so cool. Like, just looking at myself, I'm like, this is the dopest, especially from, like, far away. It's like, wow, she's got cool eye makeup on. So that's everything in terms of the makeup, but also wanted to show you guys my outfit of the day, which is pretty much just Vampire Freaks Bats leggings. I'm so sad. I don't wear these that much anymore because I accidentally... There's, like, a hole right there and right there. That really sucks. I don't wear them out or anything, but I still love them. Also just remembered something. I had like a brain fart while I was filming. I was like, there was something else I wanted to tell you guys. And I remembered, and it's that another wheel of the year holiday is coming up for like the Wicca and witchcraft stuff that I'm into. And it is called Lamas, I think is how you say it. And it's all about like bread and like harvest and stuff. My brain anyways is definitely highlighting the bread factor of it and I'm really excited. So I'm going to be doing another World of Warcraft cookbook recipe because there is a Mulgore spice bread that I really want to make. So I'll probably film that next weekend and I'm just, oh god, I'm so excited because that's one that I've really wanted to make and now I'm like, yes, I can utilize a holiday that is kind of about bread and grain to make it. I'm really excited about that because it's been a long time since I've done a wow cookbook recipe and it should be a pretty easy one because it's just bread. Uh, that is officially everything. I hope that you guys have a super super lovely day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!